there was a growth, there was a polyp, which was cancerous. Being in that situation where you had this big word, cancer, you cannot give in to it. colonoscopy and they uh, realized that uh, it was about time we extracted the bloody thing We're talking about major surgery Charles was diagnosed with colon cancer his works are in the White House at the Vatican he's painted portraits of Pope John Paul the Sophia Loren Muhammad Ali last year he sold for twelve thousand dollars and someone at this lunch today will get it as well uh, happily to say some victims hospital were amazing. They said, we want you to have a very young, modern surgeon and will take the cancer out and you will have no other problems. And you know what? They have done it on Monday, the results came back, he's still in hospital, but the cancer is out. There was a party in which uh, it was too late to revoke. Uh, I was kidnapped and I went to the party at home, my home, in many ways comedic. A bit daring. He was escaping for a couple of hours. I think it's so much better for his spirit and for the way he feels about himself. I'm a fugitive by nature, <laughs> by circumstances, <laughs> and biographically. <laughs> So the hospital thinks you've just gone to the toilet, then you take a while. I never tell anybody my itinerary. That is so funny, isn't it? It was a great interlude. I loved it. I loved the people. Let's wish him all the best. I yeah. felt that I've accomplished a great courtesy among my friends. Lovely having you here. Yeah, thank you very much. Lovely having you here, We have a bottle. A friend of mine gave me a bottle of Napoleon. French cognac, 209 years old, imagine. When this bottle was available on the market, Napoleon yeah. was actually buying these cases of this bottle and drinking it with his army. And I um, insisted on opening it. It was uh, worth uh, eloping from hospital. That was the highlight of the party. Its value is about $20,000. But I said, I don't want to sell it, I want to drink it for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> from 1811. You can do it from the cordial. And, and, and the, the moment came, tasting the cognac. My excuse was to um, ensure the safety of, of all my guests. It doesn't look good. How is it? <laughs> Where's that smile? <laughs> It's beyond description. <laughs> Two drops a day will keep the doctor away. <laughs> anyway, it was uh, like a, the tear of God himself. It was so beautiful. Cheers to village. Being woken up on an hourly basis throughout the night. Nice fish, nice lemon. Having to take medicines in the middle of the night. Having to uh, get jabs on your bum. In hospital, I couldn't work. It was frustrating for me. A lot of soothing things, the gentleness of the uh, personnel, the nurses, the doctors, all finished well. The way uh, the hospitals are running in this country is really admirable. Nevertheless, home is home. With somebody very dear to you, my wife Krista, and uh, I live three doggies. No doggies allowed in hospital beds. When he came out of hospital, legally, <laughs> in the evening, I said, let's go to a, a Christmas party. And he enjoyed it. Because you don't want to give in, to feel sorry for yourself, to feel negative, there's a life out there. Take it with both your hands and embrace it and be part of the exciting world we live in. Striving to once and for all 
become uh, a masterpiece painter. Fully uh, refurbished and uh, re-equipped, uh, uh, recharged spiritually and uh, creatively, and probably even maritally. A little absence from my wife has been healthy because I realized how much I missed her.